Well, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, just possibly a short one this one. Um, I've acquired a little tower stock turret. Yeah. Um, it holds a maximum of about five tools. And the idea of course is that you can rotate the turret round to whichever tool you want. And this is if you like along the center line along here so it doesn't matter where you have this yeah what angle um, this will all be on the center line because it's on the center line of the shaft yeah and as we know um, it's a Morse taper and they are self-centering um, so um, so I'm going to show you how to use one um, this is new to me new piece of kit um, I always wanted one of these and uh, a friend the other day said hey do you want this I picked it up at a car boot for a quid so there you go a quid bonus so um, we'll uh, I'll get a bit of a uh, bit of metal chucked up in the in the lathe and uh, we'll give it a whirl also uh, a bit worth a note it came without the tools so I've had to make these yeah there's a little holder there for a center drill there's a small live center that, I'm, that I've made and also the um, arbor to mount a, um, a 30 millimeter Jacobs chuck yeah so, uh, so I can hold drills in that one I can send a drill in that one and um, I can hold it while I'm turning with that one so without further ado I'll get the lathe set up and I'll be back in a minute right so here we are uh, I've got a little bit of aluminium in the lathe and uh, first things first is um, centre drill as we all know I've roughly faced it off it's not perfect but I think it'll do for now now if we were doing this uh, without uh, without this turret um, each time we wanted to do a different action yeah we'd have to take it out the tail stock change it over put in either the life center or the big chuck or whatever yeah here we don't have to yeah because it's all there already so what we can do yeah is get that rotating and um, okay center drill do now is pull out the stop turn it round stop back in and then we can put the live center in crank that up and now I'm going to bring my tool back we're now holding it in my little live center so I'm spin that up see everything's tickety boo all we're going to do is run the tool down the spot we're turning. How about that, eh? No play, no nothing. Now then, so we've done that, we've done that. Okay, so we'll take it as red now that we've turned it to size and we now need to drill a hole in. Yeah, so what we would normally do, we'd normally have to take the uh, take the life center out put the big chuck in and mess about again so what we've got to do now is put a drill in the chuck wheel it round and drill a hole I'll show you how that's done so find the right tools that might help here we go so we pull that back put the chuck in place Drill in the chuck. And we'll just move that up slightly so you can see what's going on. There we go. You just be able to see right in the top corner there. So we'll just bring that down a little. Fire that up, and now we'll pull the hole there. Okay. 
And then when we finish that component, we put in a fresh piece of metal and it's back to the start. Yeah. Um, ever so easy. Um, like I say, been after one of these for ages and uh, they are quite expensive if you can find them. Um, I, must admit, I haven't seen any for sale in the shops. I think you can get them for some of the little lathes, the uni mats, that kind of thing, but um, nothing for this size unless you go right up to the big turret lathes and then, well, they won't fit it. One of those wouldn't fit in my workshop. So, But anyway, brilliant piece of kit. So there you go. That's how a, um, a tailstock turret works. Okay, um, just a little add-on to the end of this. Um, those of you who've seen my videos before have seen that there's normally a little um, a little guard, a little perspex guard, goes across the top. Um, um, tiny little thing, uh, about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. So uh, what I did the other week was I got myself some, um, some uh, thick perspex. Lexan, call it what you will, and I made myself up a nice one. Yeah, comes a whole front of the chuck, um, and I can move it out the way to get in there. The only thing is, I've uh, I've had to extend my uh, my chuck tools, my chuck key slightly, to uh, to get in there. It won't quite it won't quite get in, but um, it also makes that easy to use as well. So, so there you go. Very handy. Stops a lot of crap going on the floor and a lot of it going towards me. Um, took me an afternoon to make that with a heat gun and a drill and taps. And, and I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, really pleased. So, on that note, um, with the head of security fast asleep on the floor down there, um, I'll say goodbye for now and uh, thank you for watching.